What's up, guys? We're going to finish our earlier conversation on the practice panel and how to get the most out of it. When the last time we left off, we were talking about having a preloaded pattern and changing through the keys of the pattern that you have loaded automatically. Let me speed that up a little bit so we're not here all day. Yep. change to the next, the next key of the circle. And now we're going to talk to talk to you guys on how to change that from maybe a different pattern from the circle perhaps to chromatically. So how about we go to C. So what if I don't want to follow the circle if it's with my pattern? What if I want to go up let's say chromatically? So all I have to do is on this preferences panel over here click on chromatically up, and then it will go from C to C sharp to D, and so on. If I press play, you'll hear what I'm talking about. C sharp or D flat. The mode is still locked. We're still doing an audio. We're just doing chromatically. And so on. All right, or if you want to go chromatically down, there's a button for that there. If I want to go from where I am now, up a major third to F sharp, I click on that button. So the next note of the pattern after this one is finished playing will be F sharp. G flat. All right, and then you have another button over here that makes it a minor third, all right? So this would take us from B flat to where we are now to uh, D flat. So that is how you change keys automatically, uh, either chromatically or through the circle or major thirds or minor thirds. What if we want to mess around with the modes? Let's go back to C. Mm -hmm. There you are. All right, so now we're in C Ionian. So what if I want to stay on C? I want C to be my one the whole time. And I want to change modes. I want to go Dorian, the Phrygian, the Lydian, the Mixed Lydian, but lock it on C. What I'll do here, I'm going to turn this off first, is go Auto Mode. Now over here, it's going to go up. You can see it says number, number is selected. It's going to go up to the next number in the mode. So if I'm starting on Ionian, then it's going to go Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixed Lydian, Aeolian, and Locrian. It's going to follow that cycle throughout. Let me press play. You can hear what I mean. So then we're going to go C Dorian. So we've stayed on C. We've just gone to the next low by number. The next number should be Phrygian. Right. So since we're locked on C, that's why you don't hear that first chord changing either, because we're ostensibly in different variants of C the whole time. So what if I don't want to cycle through the modes sequentially number by number? What if I want to cycle through the, the modes uh, via this circle over here? So if I want to go from example where we are now, from C Ionian to what would be C Mixolydian, and then C Dorian, and then C Aeolian, I just click on circle button here and it'll do exactly that. So we're still starting and ending on C, and then C, Mixolydian. And since the next one after that is D, it will give us, get out of the way, pop up. Dory. Okay. So there's that. There, turn that off. So now what's going to happen if I click on that lock button right there is we're going to stay within the C scale, and then what's going to happen is we'll go C uh, Ionian, and then D Dorian, and then E Phrygian, basically starting on different notes of the C scale to get all the different modes we can get using the notes in the C scale. No flats, no sharps. Let's do it sequentially first. I'll click on number. So what should happen now is this pre preloaded ascending ladder pattern will go 
uh, C Ionian, and then D Dorian, etc. And then the next note in the C scale, which is D, pattern will start there, and it'll give us a Dorian sound. So we're just going up the C scale. C, D, next will be E. With this that we did with with the other uh, feature, we can go around the circle if you're so inclined to do so. Let's pick up where we left off here. So to go from Phrygian to Locrian, because that was the next on our circle, the next pattern that we loaded. So same feature as before, only we've locked essentially the key that we're playing. We're locking the notes that we're, we're messing around. So let's talk about these features right here. We'll come back to the harmonization in, in a minute. We're going to jump over to this section over here of the inversions and the re retrograde motion. So to illustrate this, let me resize this window just by doing that a little higher. I'm going to use something that illustrates this uh, a little more uh, clearly. How about an arpeggio? There we go. Boom. Drag and drop. So now I have these ascending arpeggios, C, E, G, D, F, A, E, G, B, uh, and so on. All right, so here's the pattern I have here. Skipping up a note, skipping up a note, and then skipping down. So what if I want to invert that, if I want to add an inversion? In other words, make the up arrows become down arrows and make the down arrow become an up arrow. So what I would es essentially have in parentheses over here is down two, down two, up three. That's what's going to happen if I click on this. You'll see that added to the pattern we just played at the end so that we can get back down again. Much like you would see on a hand in exercise. So it goes up. As high as it will go within the range we've selected and then back down in a reverse manner, resolving on the C. So that's what we'll do, well that's what will happen if I click on the inversion button over here. Retrograde, turn that off, essentially takes this pattern that we have here and flips it around. So in parentheses over here we'd have like a down three, up two, up two. So if we move, if we move to the right of this menu up here we see we have these include approach tone uh, features. This is a really cool feature. So what it allows me to do is take any of these approach patterns that are down here in the bottom right screen. Let me make this a little bit bigger. Of which you can see there are many options. Um, we're gonna start with something simple, but first thing I'm gonna do is go over the preference panel and I'm just gonna color in the first note of the pattern so you can see. So what, what we've done here by clicking on this color first and pattern button here is basically just highlighted the first note of each pattern of our preloaded uh, three note arpeggio scale thing here. And it will do that with any pattern that you, that you have loaded, a ladder or, or whatever. So now we see C and D and then E, the first note of each pattern. So when I add a, let's add a chromatic approach from below pattern here just by dragging it. Now what you see is right before the first note of each pattern, the C, the D and the E, is a half step chromatic approach from below, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, D sharp E, excuse me, and so on. This feature over here allows me to color the approach tones so I can differentiate those from the first note on each pattern that we had colored in previously. So let me do that. Now you can see the chromatic approach from below notes are all shaded in an orange, allowing you to discern one from the other a bit more clearly. So let me play this just so you can hear what it sounds like. Cool twist on the original pattern that we had uh, loaded uh, before. So you can see over here uh, an illustration of the approach pattern that we've we've included, right? So let me explain what these lines basically mean. So we have the middle line representing the target note, right? The orange line on either side is a chromatic approach to said target note. So the blue dotted line on the extremities of this little hieroglyph here basically represents uh, the next note in the scale, either from above or below. Um, the reason this is dotted is sometimes that note is a half step, sometimes that note is not, sometimes it is a whole step. It depends on the pattern 
that you have loaded, or the scale you're working with, rather. Uh, you can have half steps in a major scale. You can have whole steps in a major scale. So that that's why we have this little uh, color-coded system over here to kind of illustrate that. And each one of these has their own zigzaggy kind of motion to illustrate what the pattern actually does. So let's let's load a pattern that kind of illustrates that a little better. I'm going to load this diatonic from below. So now you see the approach tones have been colored in in blue from the orange, uh, illustrating uh, or reinforcing that we're not dealing with chromatic exclusively chromatic tones anymore. That these are all diatonic approaches. So some of them might be chromatic, some of them might not be. Hence our dotted blue line uh, from from earlier. All right. So let's hear what this sounds like as opposed to our chromatic approach from earlier. A lot more in line with just a regular old C scale compared to what we had earlier. Boom! All chromatic approaches. Within our bank of uh, approach tones over here, we basically kind of divided it into three different categories. We have approaches, A, escapes, E, and ornaments. Oh, and you'll see that little prefix before each ornamentation. Those are all the approach patterns. Down here we have the ornaments. So let's let's load uh, an ornament. Let's load this one right here. So now you can see within the uh, illustration here, we're going to approach the target note, we're going to leave it, and then we're going to settle back on it again within the three-note chord arpeggio pattern that we loaded earlier. That's, that's still over here. So we have a chromatic approach from above down to our target note, and then up to the next note in the scale, and then down to the target note again. Let's play this one. Remember, still in the context of these three note broken chords. It may be hard to pick up on that, but that's still in there. Right? So here you see all the colored notes, the orange and the green and the blue and the green. And then there's our three note chords, C, E, G. The next ornamentation, D, F, A. The next ornamentation, E, G, B, and so on. So we still have our basic pattern uh, present. Let's do an escape tone. Let's find uh, what's a good escape tone. Here, let's do a chromatic. So let's do a chromatic from below. So now what we have is we're escaping the first note of our, so here's our first broken chord, C, E, G, right? We're gonna escape the first note of that chord, C, down chromatically to B, and then finish off our arpeggio. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat that each time. Let's listen to that one. So as, as we have it set now, we're just escaping from the first note of each pattern. I can add an escape tone to every note in the pattern by clicking on the Approach All Notes feature here. So here we have every note in the pattern, the C, the E, and the G, all being uh, followed up by a chromatic escape tone afterwards. completely changes uh, the original exercise that we had dramatically. Here's the original approach pattern we had with everything being approached chromatically from below. So it's just essentially little chunks of the chromatic scale. Remember before, that looked like this. Right? So, what if we did this? So what if I want to change uh, the scale we're using from CIONI. And remember, we can use anything here in our bank in the main panel uh, and apply these practicing patterns to any of these. So if I want to use harmonic minor, just type in, there we go, drag it over, go back to the practice panel. So now we have the exercise loaded in the context of all the notes in C harmonic minor.
So you can use these patterns on anything. It's not just something that's relative to uh, the C scale or the D scale or C minor or D minor. You can do anything in the app with anything in the app. All right. So now let's combine a bunch of the stuff we've talked about today in the context of, of C harmonic minor. Let's approach all the notes in C harmonic minor from chromatically below. Let's uh, automatically change through all the modes of C harmonic minor and maybe crank up the tempo a little bit here so we can get through them a little faster and hear what that sounds like. So that's it for now. Don't forget to watch our other tutorials and demos. Uh, send questions and comments to MDEX Music. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot.